In this video, we're going to create a click effect that will expand the pie chart here. And it was based on a question from one of the viewers. So this here has a tiny side effect that when we click on this, it will not respond exactly the same. Plus the tool tip here will also be triggered on click and not anymore on hoover. So this is the side effect of this method however this method is very easy to do so let's explore how to do this and then at the end of this video i have a other video that will show you exactly the advanced way in this video we're going to cover one of the viewers question which is how to use on click event to expand the pie slices in chart.js so this question came from one of my other videos about how to make a pie slice stand out on hoover in chart.js and then in here Rishab Jane, a special thank you to Rishab for asking the question, he was asking specifically how to make a video on click event. So where he indicated he faced the problem and was able to do it in Charge.js version 2, but not in Charge.js version 3.6. So basically what he wanted to do was when you click on it, it should uh, expand, but if you click on it again, it will reduce in size back to its original state. So a quick note here. I've tried to make, and I'm going to show you an easy way to do it, but the easy way is not very, very, uh, um, or at least it has one item that is not desirable. However, I'm going to show it to you, it's going to the tooltip. But this is the easiest way to do it. First of all, what we're going to do here then is we go to chargest3.com, getting started, to get the default code. For some reason, I get an error on my Google Chrome. Why? I do not know, but it's all right. And all what we need here basically is this. And if you're on Firefox, you will see it will work fine. So if I copy this code, and if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video here. So we're going to paste it in here. Once we paste it in here, I'm going to cut out this, put it in there. I'm going to save that and refresh, and there we are. So now we have our basic bar chart. Let's convert this into a pie chart. So we say pie chart here, and then we, we will remove the scale because chart JS or pie chart doesn't have any scale. So what we want to do now is we want to reduce the size because the size is currently far too large. Let's put this on 500 pixels, save that, refresh. There you are. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to trigger the event on click. This will have one downside or this uh, chain reaction, which is the tooltip will also trigger on click. And I've tried to remove the effect on it, but it just doesn't want to work. So I will show you that's why right. this is one way, is the easy way that will have the effect of the tooltip. And I have another more advanced way, which will have another side effect. But I'm going to show you that later on, or at least in another video. So once we have this here, what I'm going to do here is basically we're going to work with here, we put in a comma, and then we say here hover offset. And let's put this on 20 pixels. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here the moment we hover over it, it will expand. And of course, you can see here once we have this, it will clip off a part of the pie chart. And I want to avoid that. So how do we avoid this? Well, basically, we can go here in the options, we can say here layout, and in the layout we say padding, and here the padding bottom, because it's basically on the bottom. What I want to do here at the bottom is to make sure that we have here, let's say a 10 pixel a space. Once we do that and save this, you might notice that now we are not clipping off anything. Beautiful. So this at least will give us our extra uh, space so that we'll avoid the clip off effect. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to do something here and this book is called events and events here can be triggered. So what, what this really means is it will start to trigger certain items. And then what is the event? Well, there are multiple events, but we're going to use here the click event. And if we do this, make sure you have a comma here and save that. If I refresh here, you can see it now on Hoover, nothing happens. And the moment we click on it, it starts to pop up. So this is probably the item what we want, although this one will not work if you click again. So you have to click on the other items here. And the side effect is the tooltip. For some reason, I cannot block the tooltip or remove or adjust the tooltip, that that will still be a mouse over effect. So this is the easiest way to do, but of course, you have some side effects. I'm going to show you a more advanced way in the other video, 
as you will see here there will a, a link or a picture of the link will pop up right now and you can see if you click on that you go to the advanced way that will be far more in line in what you want 